How's the cookie? You want to know? It's the Oreo Review Show. My friends, when I set out to make this channel, I made one promise to myself. That above all else, no matter what may happen, I would not get political on this show. Unfortunately, something has taken place and I am being forced to speak my piece about this pressing issue. For too long, I've tried to remain unbiased, neutral, impartial, and uh, we've come to a point in this country where that's no longer a possibility. Politics, the media, everything is so overwhelming, everyone has an opinion. I can't keep quiet about it any longer. It's too important an issue. It's something that I feel I have to address. So please bear with me as I have this discussion. You've probably already heard about this. It's been all over the news, but uh, to get you up to speed. Housing and Urban Development Secretary Ben Carson was recently questioned by uh, one representative, Katie Porter, of the House Financial Services Committee. The video's been circulating, but in case you haven't seen it, here's a taste. As you look it up, I'd also like you to get back to me, if you don't mind, to explain the disparity in REO rates. Do you know what an REO is? An Oreo? R, no, not an Oreo, uh, uh, an R-E-O, R-E-O. Real estate? What's the O stand for? E organization Owned. Real estate owned. That's what happens when a property goes to foreclosure. We call it an REO. All right, look. If you look at the standard news channels, CNN, ABC, Fox, NBC, C-SPAN, ESPN, the 24-hour ESPN, Opinion seems to be unanimous because apparently uh, guilty before innocent in this country that Ben Carson is a fool who can't think about anything, doesn't know what real estate terms mean. He thinks that an REO is an Oreo. What a buffoon, right? Wrong. Let's run down the facts on this one, people. Fact number one. If you read the representative Katie Porter's lips, during the video, you will clearly see that she, in fact, was saying Oreo. And to prove it, here's a little example video. Oreo. Oreo. Do you see how it lines up exactly with the movements of her mouth? Fact number two. R-E-O is a made-up term that no one has ever heard of. According to Representative Katie Porter, REO stands for Real Estate Owned. Huh. That, that, sounds like, that sounds like a descriptive term to me. And yet, in her own language, Katie Porter refers to an REO as if it were a noun. Let me ask you, would you ever say that something is a real estate owned? <laughs> no. To add to that point, she also uses the term an R-E-O. Well, if the R really does stand for real, in my opinion, it should stand for fake. If it really does stand for real, well, then that should be a R-E-O, because everyone knows you use the letter A before a word that starts with a consonant. It's first grade math. Fact number three and... Uh, uh, pay attention, kids, because this is where it, I think it actually gets important. Fact number three, Oreos are delicious. I often get confused when people are talking to me, and I too will interrupt them to ask if they were in fact talking about Oreos. I would say 99.99% .99 of the time, it turns out that they are not. But in the 0.001% of the time when it turns out that they are, I don't want to be the asshole who gets caught not talking about Oreos when that in fact was the subject of discussion. I don't know if people are aware of this, but 
I happen to host a very popular snack cookie review show called the Oreo Review Show right here on YouTube. It's this channel. So I consider myself something of an expert in this field. And I think that's really where the problem is right now. The news media is discussing this from the perspective of politics and uh, uh, pedantry and accuracy. Uh, in fact, the angle they should be tackling it from is the one from which they have no expertise and I have so much. And that, again, is the Oreo cookie from Nabisco. Ben Carson is the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. Hmm, housing. What goes in housing again? Oh, yeah, Oreo cookies. Oh, urban development. Hmm, hard to develop an urban location without, uh, I don't know, sustenance? Once again, in the form of... Oreo cookies. People, open your eyes. Ben Carson, it, it's his job to know about Oreo cookies. To, to punish him for thinking about what's important instead of some made-up acronym, it's asinine. Look, I'm sorry that I had to make this video. I felt that my hand was forced. I never wanted it to come to this, but there's so much misinformation being spread around these days and none of it coming from the perspective of an informed cookie critic like myself, so I felt that I needed to weigh in, set the record straight once and for all. Secretary Ben Carson did nothing wrong. The man is innocent. Hang on, I just got a, I just got a tweet alert on my phone. Looks like there's a new tweet to read. At Secretary Carson says, Oh, R-E-O. <laughs> Thanks, at Rep. Katie Porter. Uh, enjoying a few post-hearing snacks. Sending some your way. Well, isn't that delightful? He's got a sense of humor about it, and he's sending what looks like a family size package of double stuff Oreos to uh, Representative Katie Porter. As we all know, double stuff Oreos are a uh, fucking atrocity, and for that crime, Ben Carson, for all I care, can rot in hell. Fuck you, Ben Carson. You're a fucking asshole, bitch. You dumbass, tasteless motherfucker. Please like and subscribe to my channel for hopefully no more political news, but hopefully uh, more coverage of Oreo stories in the future, and of course, weekly reviews on brand new and old classic Oreo products. Until next time, here's a polite, respectful Oreo. How's the cookie? You wanna know? It's the Oreo Review Show.